Welcome everyone to another episode in this uh, foundation series of uh, videos covering the basics of accounting. In this episode, we are going to explore the uh, concept of accrual accounting that is used in determining uh, when revenues and expenses are recorded. So in this video, we will uh, look at uh, what is accrual accounting. Uh, we will also uh, look at the difference between accrual accounting and cash accounting. And uh, finally, we will also try to understand why uh, we use accrual accounting in uh, reporting the financial performance of a business. Let's first recap what accounting is all about. Accounting involves the accountant measuring and recording business transactions and then prepares reports for stakeholders or users so that they can make informed business decisions. The report that is prepared will contain information relevant to the financial health of the business. This will include the financial position of a business which shows the amount and type of assets that the business controls and the claims on these assets, which are liabilities and equity. The reports also include information on the financial performance of a business, showing the amount of revenue generated and the expenses incurred and the corresponding profits or losses. In considering when we should record revenue and expenses, we follow the accrual accounting principle. This principle states that revenue is recorded when it is earned. This is when the revenue generating process is completed. For example, when a service is completed or when goods are delivered to a customer. Expenses are recorded when it is incurred or when resources are used up or consumed to generate the revenue. The accrual accounting principle is not the same as cash accounting. In cash accounting, revenues are recorded when cash is received and expenses are recorded when cash is paid. Let's now look at an illustration of how accrual accounting works and the difference between accrual accounting and cash accounting. Let's consider a business that sells one type of t-shirt and let's say that the cost to buy the t-shirt is $50 and the t-shirt will be sold at a price of $100. Let's consider the purchase and sale of one single t-shirt and how it will affect the cash flow and the profits of the business. First, let's look at what if we were to buy the t-shirt by paying cash and sell it for cash. What is the impact on cash flow? There will be a cash outflow of $50 and a cash inflow of $100, giving the business a surplus cash of $50. What then is the impact on profits? If we use accrual accounting, we will need to record the cost of buying the t-shirt of $50 and the revenue earned from selling one t-shirt of $100 when the t-shirt is delivered to the customer. Therefore, there will be a profit of $50 generated from this sale. Now, because the cash flow and the profit generated happens at the same time, the surplus cash and the profit are the same. But this is not always the case, as we will see in the next few scenarios. Let's now consider if we were to buy the t-shirt by paying cash, but sell it to the customer on credit, therefore delaying the collection of cash. 
This will result in a cash outflow of $50, but there will not be any cash inflow yet. Therefore, the business will have a cash deficit of $50. But from an accrual accounting point of view, the sale has already been made when the t-shirt was delivered to the customer, even if the amount has not been collected. The cost to buy the t-shirt has also been incurred, so there will be a profit of $50 generated. Now the business has a right to collect money from its customer, and the customer will therefore be a debtor of the business. The debtor will then be reported as an asset. This will provide a more complete financial picture of the business. The business has made a profit of $50 through the sale of the t-shirt, but there is a deficit cash position of $50. This is because the sale was made on credit, and therefore there is an amount to be collected from the debtor of $100 classified as an asset. But what if we were to buy the t-shirt on credit and sell it to the customer for cash? In this case, we will not have any cash outflow, but we will have received cash inflow of $100 from the customer. This will give us a surplus cash of $100. But again, the profit generated remains at $50 when we follow the accrual accounting principle. And now there is an external claim by the t-shirt supplier of $50 which represents a creditor to the business and classified as a liability that must be repaid in the future. So while the business may appear to have an excess cash of $100, it has to be remembered that there is a claim by creditors of $50 that must be settled in the future. Finally, let's look at a situation where we were to buy and then sell the t-shirt on credit. This will of course result in no cash flow at all, despite the fact that a sale has been made. Therefore, we will report a profit generated of $50, and at the same time, there will be both an asset of $100, representing the amount owing from the debtor, and a liability of $50, representing the obligation to pay the creditor for the t-shirt. So as you can see, accrual accounting provides a better way of recording the amount of revenues generated and expenses incurred based on the work done and the resources consumed. Therefore, the amount of profits reported in the income statement will truly reflect the economic activities of the business. And depending on how and when cash is collected and paid, the corresponding assets and liabilities will be reported accordingly in the statement of financial position. Cash accounting is therefore not appropriate to be used in recording revenues and expenses as it, it is dependent on the timing of the collection and payment of cash and not when the work is completed or resources consumed. Due to the difference between accrual accounting and cash accounting, it can be seen that the amount of profits generated for a particular period may not be the same as the amount of cash generated if the timing of collection and payment of cash is different from the timing of completion of work and the consumption of resources. But the amount of cash inflow and outflow of a business is critical as a healthy cash flow and sufficient cash balances are required to ensure a business is financially sustainable and able to pay its suppliers of goods and services on time. Therefore, information on the cash flow of a business is reported 
in a separate financial statement called the cash flow statement. In this video, we have looked at the accrual accounting principle and examined uh, why it is used in recording uh, revenues and expenses. Accrual accounting is a, a better approach in recording revenues and expenses as it uh, better reflects the uh, business transactions that have occurred and therefore better reflects the financial performance and financial position of a business. So I hope you have found this video to be useful and I thank you for uh, watching. Uh, please do post any questions or comments or feedback that you may have down below. Uh, I hope you will um, share, uh, like and share this video with your friends and classmates. Uh, please do subscribe for more uh, future videos in this foundation series uh, covering the basics of accounting. So till we meet again, uh, please do take care and uh, stay safe.